Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Burning in Belgium. Today we're going to do another series, another couple of products from the Chili Project. First of all, I have here Hot Shot Jalapeno. It's a sort of cowboy candy. Um, candied jalapeno slices. Then we have Red Rocket Rush and Lemon Drop Jelly. Now, the reason why I'm doing this one so shortly after my last recording is the jalapenos. I had one little taste of them, just a little one. And I'm almost half out. As you can see, they're just that good. So, if I want to review these products, if I want to review that one, I don't have to do it now. Because it's not going to last until the weekend, I'm afraid. Same goes for the relish. And as for this one, I just want to review it because well, I'm totally unfamiliar with lemon drop chilies and I was deadly curious about it. So, first of all, the hot shot jalapenos. Up till now, the jalapenos that I was used to were either salty or very vinegary. These, however, are candied. I can still taste some vinegar, but they're also very sweet. And the sweetness in combination with the slight burn from the jalapeno makes it rather addictive. Again, one sampling, one sample session, and I had half of the jar before I could stop myself. The heat level would be around. Three, I'd say, after all, it's only jalapeno. But the combination with the, sweet, the sugar in it and the hint of vinegar, mm. delicious. But I'm gonna close the jar now before I have none left. Now, then we have the Red Rocket Relish. You try saying that 10 times very fast. I dare you. As you can see, there are very large chunks vegetables in it along with a nice sweet and sour sauce ingredients for it are red pepper brown sugar red onion passata that's tomato and citric acid red wine Vinegar, serenade chili, 9.5%, garlic, lime juice, and then santam gum. It's a nice sweet and sour relish. Um, it says here, um, 
what's the blur about it? Ah, here it is. Reach escape velocity and propel your senses into another dimension with this radiant chili relish. Maybe no so no solar flare, but it will have your taste buds dancing for light years to come. It is out of this world. And has a picture of an astronaut on it. And of course, the rocket on Hence the whole spec steam. The red pepper and the onion are coming through very, very well. And like I said, it's a sweet and sour relish. So, personally, I use it on sandwiches, but there's probably a great number of, of applications you can have for this one. And then, we have the one I was curious about, the lemon drop jelly. So like I said, I, will, I am totally unfamiliar with this particular chili, but I heard a great many things about it, all good. And I was very curious about the taste. And yes, I have already tasted it. Um, I was a bit surprised. I was expecting some citric flavors, but not so much. It has a nice soft burn. I would say about level two, maybe three. And very sweet taste. Let's see if I can find the ingredients. Ah, here. Sugar, liquid pep pectin. Lemon juice and two two and a half percent lemon drop chili, which makes it pretty simple for ingredients. It says here this exquisite jelly, this exquisite chili jelly, sorry, was created with one of our favorite chilies, the lemon drop, paired as well with cheese. Yeah, I can see that. Cold meats, sandwiches, or an alternative to mango chutney and sweet chili. Mm. I can see the comparison with mango chutney. As for the sweet chilies, maybe, but sweet chili has more vinegar has vinegar in it, so um, I don't know. I still don't like it. I can really picture it with old cheese. Nice old cheddar. Also, some other ones. Um, doesn't have to be English. Uh, you have. Appenzell from Switzerland, Old Amsterdam, uh, Old Bruges. Yes, every country has its old cheeses and you should be able to find one that please you.
Yep. I'm going to try to achieve tomorrow. And probably put some of these as well on it. If I have any left. Until next time, keep the fire burning. Naga out.